We are L. Welcome. We have come by your request. What is it that you should have us inform you about? We were wondering if you could give us an update on, on the financial issues. Your financial issues grow more dire every day. However, there are those there that are supporting your financial systems with everything that they have because, first of all, they do not want it to collapse quite yet. They have not stabilized their position for after the collapse. You see, once there is a collapse, there will be many vying for the, a struggle for control afterwards. And we know this, and it is very evident, and no matter where we go that this happens, it is always the way that some malevolent beings will want to come forth to bring their idea to fruition, but then there are others that want to have their ideas bring, brought forth, but our ideas are the ones that are most successful. So we will be integrating those thought processes as soon as the collapse happens. Now, the update on when, this is very unclear. The reason for that is because there are so many decisions to be made, and we cannot tell you the future exactly. There is an estimated time period, of course, and there are things that need to happen in succession that will cause the implosion, actually. I call it a collapse. You can actually call it an implosion because the systems will actually fall upon themselves, not being able to support all the financial loss. You see, everyone will owe everyone, which is already the case, and in one way or another, it will not be able to be paid back and therefore cause no more flow, or a flow that is so stifled that it cannot survive. So there, do you understand this? Therefore, this is coming soon, but I would not be the one that wants to say exactly what day that will be. But it will be a day not far in the future. And there are many of those malevolent societies even that are holding the finances up to benefit themselves. But you realize after the collapse of the economy, no, nothing but gold will probably be valuable. Even gold for a while will not have much value because there will be not much to buy. There will not be much to trade for because most people will be stealing. Keep your... There will be many things that you will be able to trade. I do not want to say all the things, but batteries will be one of them because all the different electricities and things will be taken away for a point, and so you'll be using batteries for light for a good period of time. Also candles, canned food, things of this nature, and water, of course. So keep these things not as a stockpile for a long period of time, but for the initial period when it, the first collapse comes, you will need it for at least a few weeks. Not indefinitely. Things will come back. Electricity will come back because there will be those that know how to do this and they will do it for free because it will benefit them as well. You understand this. There will be those that know how to do some things that will benefit themselves. But as they are doing it, it will also benefit others because they have the knowledge of how to correct it. It has always been the case with every time we have seen this. So therefore, there will be some things that will return. You will not be paying for your electricity, light, or, or whatever, but you will be getting it to some degree. All right. Yes. Yes, uh, my question is with... Um the probability of the future and say in the 2020s um, according to the earth 
uh, calendar. Um, would most likely by then will we have some more uh, extraterrestrial systems that it would be by then more accepting of the governments to allow to come there, in to assess. You the see, weapons. that is one of the other fears is when the when the system collapses that the aliens will come in and take control because they know that the aliens are here and they know that the aliens have some uh, power over some people because many people support them. However, the aliens will only support humanity in the ways that they ask for. They will not be overbearing and they will not directly interfere with this action because it is part of your history the way it should be and cannot be interfered with otherwise changing the whole future of your world. So it is not going to be that way although your governments may think so. Does that make sense? You cannot, they cannot be part of this negativity. Yes, there are negatives wor working, aliens working in your governments, but this is something that is part of history already. And the future has been changed by it already. So that is not something that we are concerned with at this time. Your timeline will continue as far as that is concerned. Now, the timing of this particular event will be very specific. It has to be in order to be to happen. There has to be many things that happen at once. It's a, a succession of uh, events that will lead to this, and therefore you will probably have some heads up as to what when that will be because you will see things happening in a way that is not normal you're already seeing some of these events but they must happen in succession that is the key they must happen one right after the other for it to be the domino effect that w is necessary for this particular collapse what other questions I see there is some yes yes my question has my question has to do with the political system and the um, upcoming election, how that plays into the financial collapse exposure, how Trump being the wild card bringing Hillary out and um, the whole political system tied into the collapse. Can you speak about that? Yes. No matter who takes office in your fall, it will be a calamity in the sense that there will be a group of people that are not happy a large group. So if Trump wins, a large group will be very unhappy. If Hillary wins, a large group will be unhappy. This will be a part of the financial collapse, yes. And it's a positive thing. Yes, it is a, po it is a positive shake-up, but not many people will see it that way. I can see it the universal perspective. The universal perspective is that the United States, as you are being seen at this time is a laughing stock with your candidates. Um, some have spoken about uh, a major shift in financial at the end of this year. Can you speak about that at all? We can. There will always be major financial shifts. That does not necessarily mean collapse but there will be major financial shifts according to many predictions, yes. That does not say that, that a total collapse is happening that soon. However, many changes will be happening. Like I said, when the collapse comes, it will be a succession of events. This will be one or two events at most, not the succession that we are speaking of. Now, we are also seeing the dismantling of projects under the earth. We are looking to see we are looking and seeing that things are changing under your planet's surface. Yes. So there is some things that uh, we are paying close attention to and not sure all the reasons why this is happening. But they are definitely disconcerting in the sense that
progress is being destroyed. Are you speaking about the benevolent or the inner earth positive beings coming to the surface and showing themselves? This is all things. Yes, this is all manners of malevolent and beneficial are now. <clears throat> excuse me, being disrupted from an inner earth perspective. Saphir? Is there another question? Yes, Saphir had a question. Speak. Um, I don't know if maybe her mic is not... She is not able to be heard. ...functioning at the moment. Um, yes. Okay, so we'll, well, what's meant to happen at the end of the year to um, is that kind of like the build-up for the, for the collapse? There are many things that are part of the build-up for the collapse. That may be just one thing. There are several things that must happen before the collapse comes. If you want to consider that one thing, yes, it will lead to several things, but it is one thing, yes. Um, and do you have any advice for us in terms of preparation or prayer or, um, that we can do? There are many preparations that I have mentioned. Please stockpile some things for the very first few weeks of the, the downfall. Now, when you find that there, it is coming to a time when things are very tight among, that the stock market is falling daily, to a, but not a great deal, but falling slowly daily in increments that are getting larger and larger then I would move myself to, away from the city areas. The city areas will be filled with looting, rioting, and theft. If you prefer to be in the country, of course, eventually, the homes in the country will be overtaken as well, but not at first. It will be the cities that will be first destroyed. Would they turn on their own people, like the Civil War? And turn of course. Okay. Rooting, looting and rioting always are turned on their own people. I don't see any nuclear war. Though. I think that would be removed. I don't think that it has to come to that. The aliens have taken care of nuclear problems. There are, it is necessary for three people at least to detonate anything nuclear at this point, they are able to stop one of the people from turning the key. And there is no way to work around this, so there isn't that much devastation? There is. We are working on that all the time, as well as several other species and alliances, giving having meetings and group get-togethers and group conversations about how things can be done more peacefully, how the collapse can be done in a better way, because there are some that are light workers that might be affected and they would not want this. And there, So therefore, the fewer deaths, the better, and the fewer amount of casualties, the better. And so they have been working on this daily to bring down the casualty count and at this point they have brought it down by about seven percent which you may not think is a lot but for the time they have been working on it it is a great deal of success and therefore we are very pleased to tell you that we are working with them um, daily there has never been a a group to help a society or a group of 
beings as much as they are helping you. Some worlds must go through this fairly alone, having only maybe <laughs> the presence of an, two or three other species around to maybe try to give them a hand. You, on the other hand, have several species, alliances, groups, all trying to help. And this is a great benefit to you. And so this collapse might not be as painful as once originally thought. Thank you for that. Yes. Can, can you name, some, we're familiar with Kirk here, can you name some of the other groups who are helping us? Of course. Ashtar Command, the, the uh, Federation of Light, the Galactic Patrol, the the councils in Octoria, the whale and dolphin assemblies, many others, the Julia, Juliana and Giuliano on their ships and their alliances, many, many. There are many very strong alliances that are working with you. Also the, reptil the friendly and reptilian alliance, the friendly gray alliance, I mean that's what we call it. They have their own names. But I will not like to translate that into your language because it doesn't sound really very helpful. But it is. They are definitely working with you. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll ask if there's... Do you have any advice for light workers besides bringing the light? Yes, the light workers can help each other. And bring light as you bring light to yourself and to your community. You can actually can communicate better with one another. Now you see this is the other thing that uh, is going to be coming down to you is one of the ways that can be very helpful for this time when things collapse is that you are on the right thought process to make things better. Not that you are going to make things work by panicking, becoming part of the problem, but we are going to train you and give you the spiritual understanding that you, these, the better your actions are, the greater the lives that will be saved. So you are very responsible, not only for yourself, but for the education of others, that might be in your area that you would want to see saved as well. So as you move your communication out, it will be a sort of evangelism, but not in the sense that we're, you're bringing them to a belief system, but rather bringing them to an understanding of how to save themselves. Yes. Thank you for that, because there are timelines as well that we have to work with. Some will have more devastation, some will not. I'm assuming there will be different timelines and realities that come into play. Yes. There will be, as was explained by someone to your people, that the timelines do melt into one another in some ways. They, are, they do have some definite when you are in a timeline, it is you are moving in a particular direction. However, with certain decisions, you can move and phase out of your timeline into others. So therefore, yes, this timeline is fairly solid with a direct movement of most of the people. Of course, there are people phasing in and out all the time, but that does not pull the direct timeline out of phase. Only the individuals. That does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Safira asks if uh, sh she's saying there is an Asian, ancient Asian uh, prince who claims to have enough gold to back up all the world debt and bring balance back to the world economy. Is this true, and is it being suppressed? When that time comes for. Um, this to happen, he, he should not be so foolish as to think that his people are going to, to back him with this because they are going to be frightened and they are going to be attacked as well as any other people. 
So this gold will be stolen. Okay. Yeah. Um, but he has the gold to do it. He has about 85% of what he speaks of. What can okay. we do to change our thoughts and attitudes about finances and resources to become more sharing and supportive of each other? How, can you give us a little more detail on how we can actually empower each other now uh, to better prepare for this event? A wonderful question, but let me put it this way. You must let people know that their actions and contributions to society make a difference. Many people do not believe that what they do have anything to do with the full society. However, their connection to God is direct from God to them, and if they can perceive that that is the true action that is to be taken, then their attitudes will change about money because money will change altogether anyway. And if they are aware of this, if they are aware that the thing that will keep them alive is not money, but friendships, love, teams, work, then perhaps, and just perhaps, they will move their finances to a secondary thought process. This is difficult for many because money rules your world and this is what is the problem with your world at this time because it is a god in the sense that you cannot do anything without it. You cannot survive without it. You cannot move one way or the other without it. It is in constant demand. It's constantly spoken about and it's constantly complained about, but yet, if they were to change focus, let's change focus and see that humanity is actually the more important thing. Humanity and the survival of your timeline is more important than anything that you can buy or seek or material goods because all of that will be taken away in some manner. The material wealth that you have now is not going to be the same. It's going to change. And you will have to adjust to that. But if you can adjust with the heart to be a community, a loving community, to understand instead of argue about what is mine, but to understand that what is yours can also be everyone's and it can be a good thing. That is something that people do not understand and cannot give up, is their selfish desire to have it all or to protect their own. Oh, survival. Survival. survival of the fittest, I think it was called. But the thing is about that, it is not going to help them survive. It is going to get them destroyed. Their selfishness if someone comes up to you with a gun and you won't give them the things that you have, you're going to die for those things. Does that make sense to you? Why die for materialistic things and for money? You should not want to die for those things, but for your family, for your friends, for your community. These things are perhaps worth dying for, but not for money and materialistic things. But your thought processes have got to change for this to happen. And there will be many teachings about this in the future. But it is not a bad thing, and it is not a thing of sadness, or it is not a thing of ugliness, but it's a thing of beauty. Chicha, continue. Um, Safira had another question here. Um, is the world currency going to be reevaluated? Uh, she says she doesn't remember. Is the, the workers going to be reevaluated? The currency, the world currency. Oh, it's not working. 
Of course. If it's not working, it must be reevaluated. It's there are societies that have no currency. There are societies that have no no things like this, but they trade knowledge and technology and information and love and uh, giving of certain services for what they need instead of having money because the money itself becomes the object of desire instead of all the other things that can be given instead. You should be desiring of maybe help in your home or desiring some technology to help you do something or, or, or something else other than just the one thing. There should be many other ways to barter other than just money. Education, learning, things of this nature, privilege. Yes. Uh, uh, Guru Mudan asked if it would be a good time uh, now to, to get a car that runs on diesel or biodiesel fuel. <laughs> it would be a good time to get a car that runs on earth. Uh, just throw earth in the tank and then it runs. But because you're not going to be, that's not going to be available for the first few weeks. Um, yes. Cold fusion would help, yes, if you have that sort of thing available to you. It would appear that I am finished here. Um, there was one more question here. Yes. Um, Sheer asked, my question is, after the collapse, first contact, will it finally happen? And how much is it going to shake Israel? And what about it those? Shake, it will shake every country, not equally, because some are poor and some are rich. It will shake the rich countries more, more strongly or more stronger than it will shake the poor countries because they're used to their poorness but they will still be shaken, all countries, because all countries do trade and all countries are now in debt, almost all. Yeah, actually, Puerto Rico right now, it's, it's so much debt that I don't know what's going to happen there at the moment. Yes, there, there, every, every inch of the earth will be shaken in one way or another unless you are totally uh, away from society in every way shape or form then you may not know anything is happening okay but if you are then you're killing for your food and eating plants and you have no electricity and you're using the forest as your outhouse So being out in the country with a little farm would be good. <laughs> um, you say so. <laughs> um, he also said he also asked, "What about those who have connections with ETs? Could they ask for protection or help?" ETs can protect in some ways, but they cannot house you or bring you off the planet. This is not part of the prime, they call it prime directive, that is a good word for it, that they cannot interfere with the actual maneuvering and challenges of the planet because it is not their planet to maneuver. They cannot change the history of your planet. Mm. And... Uh, Guru Dana was also asking for how long will this last, the survival time? That is what we are working on. Right now, it would appear like three to five weeks of delirium at first. And we went, that is the part we want to cut down. Because after that, things will start to take shape again. But we'd like to cut down on the delirium portion and so far they have cut down seven percent 
Yeah, because wouldn't wouldn't the the I know the poor are used to living in a lot of these conditions, um, but wouldn't they also suffer a lot more? The poor. Poor, poor. They're used to suffering, dear. <laughs> they will not suffer more than they're used to suffering, much more. It will be the rich that will suffer the most. Okay. Um, do you have any suggestions about heating during the winter? That was a question somebody asked. Buy a lot of matches and lighters. <laughs> and live near a lot of wood. Um, another question was, could, uh, could you please say the year when this could happen or a window? It, that that could be a you see I cannot t say that and the reason is is because that is not determined it it is determined by your government decisions and the way that things are supposed to happen we know what will happen we don't know exactly when it will happen but we know that it is within a certain time period and if we gave you that time period it could change because then people would have different thoughts about that and make the wrong decisions and change that time period. Does that make sense yeah. to you? It's yeah. all relative. I thought it was decided though that it was by, uh, by 2025. Well, we had picked 2027 actually we picked. Um, and that was a, an, a generality. And we told you that as well. But, and we picked that because of your numerology systems and belief systems. We, but we see that it will probably happen well before then. Yeah, I can see that actually. I can see it much closer than that. Yes, we, we've determined that that original uh, thought process was fl very flawed and that it will probably have happen well before that. And also, that was almost three years ago that we said that, so. Yes. Um, does anyone over here on the web have any questions on this matter? Yeah, I have a question regarding, um, is any of this going to be in conjunction with the ice age to be expected, or would you give me some information on that? It will not, there will not be um, anything that quickly. The reason is, as it's just not due quite yet. So do not worry about that for, uh, for this period of time. That won't, will not be coming quite yet. Anybody else have any other questions? There is okay. someone else here wanting to come in. Okay. Well, uh, we want to thank you for coming and giving us this information. Um, yes, I, I do not want to seem like a doom and gloom predictor because that is not what I am predicting. I'm predicting that things will be much better than they are predicted. So um, I am actually here to tell you that there is some positive changes coming in this area. And at this time, it looks like there is three to five weeks of delirium. But by the time that it comes, that could be well less. OK. Yeah, that, that makes me feel better. It should. Yeah. We are working on it with many. Now, be well and encourage each other to be wonderful, to, to be in the positivity that you should be in because that will definitely help the scenario a great deal.
Yes, and they will give a better world to the children. Yes. And that's really what encourages me. Excellent. Thank you.